Hello and welcome to this tutorial on reading and writing to a text file. Now you can see on my screen a little bit of code that I've written. Now the first thing we do here with this line of code is we open up a text file I've created in Notepad called My Text in writing mode. Okay. Now before you write this code you will need to make yourself a text file. So here's mine, it's called My Text. You can use Notepad++ or just Notepad and save this, importantly, save it in the same folder that you save your Python program. Okay, That's important, otherwise Python won't find the file. So the next thing we're just printing to the screen asking what the name is and we're storing it in a variable called name. Now the next thing we do is to demonstrate the two different ways of writing to the text file. We can go file.write and I've just put some text. So you can write text straight into a text file. The only thing that might look a bit odd to you guys is you've got here a backslash n. Now that's useful because it's the new line character which means whenever you write more than one line to the text file it will appear on a new line not just all joined together in one line which you know, it just looks bad. Now the other way I'm showing you to write to the text file today is you can actually write the contents of a variable um, directly to the text file and here I'm just using you know the person's name that I've saved earlier in this variable and as you can see here instead of a line of text I can simply write the variable directly to the text file. We then close the file. That's important. You want to always close your file once you've finished using it. Now the next thing we do is we reopen the file but this time we use R and that stands for read so we're opening it in read mode. Now the first thing we do is we read in the contents of the file. Now what we can do is we can actually store it all into a variable which you can then use anywhere in your program. Um, but in this case I'm just printing the contents of the variable straight to the screen and that will be the entire contents of the text file. Another way you can do it, if I just uncomment this for a second, you can also use a loop. So you can use a for loop which will go through the contents of the text file and then as it goes through it gets stored in the um, local variable called i and then the contents of i get printed to the screen which is basically again it's just a different way of printing your text file back to the screen. Now I'm just going to comment that out because both of those two things do the same and then finally I close the file. So if we run this you'll see what happens. So here we go, it's just asking for my name, so I'm just going to use Bob, hit enter, and look, it says, look, I can write to a text file, Bob. Now that may not seem particularly impressive until I open up my text file again, and look what's appeared. I've actually automatically now written a um, sentence to my text file, as well as the user's name, Bob, which is great. Now I want to show you one thing which is quite important. Now we originally opened up in write mode. Now if I run this again, and this time I'm going to say that I'm Fred, hit enter, open up my text file again, so I reload it, and you'll notice my original line has completely disappeared to be replaced with Fred and the line of text. So using write mode is quite dangerous because basically you get rid of anything that was previously in the file. So if you don't want to keep overwriting a file it makes sense to use A instead here. Now what this does, this opens the file in a append mode and that means you can keep writing to the file without overwriting anything that's already saved there. So if I run this now, what you'll notice so this time I'll put in, I don't know, I'll put in Fred again. Hit enter. It's now printed back Fred twice because I used Fred the last time. It hasn't overwritten the file. It's just added to it. So just to prove that works, minimize it, run it one last time and choose a different name. So we'll use good old Bob again. Put Bob it back in. Here you go. So you can now see we've got three lines of text. If I open this up reload it. There you go. You can see now that I can continuously add to my text file as I want to. So quite a useful technique and if you have a go at this you've now got the ability to uh, open a file up, add to it, 
you can store variables straight into the text file and you can also write lines of text straight to the text file. You now know how to open it up in read mode so that you've got R there for read mode. You can either store the contents of the file directly into a variable and then print it or you can use a for loop to also directly access the contents of the file and print it back to the screen and you also now know how to close the file. Okay well I hope you enjoyed that, go off and have a little practice and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.